Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In this recording, we'll show you the new option that we have for Mirror. If we take a look at this part, I've done a profile operation on this wall over here. Now, the home position in this particular case, you'll note, is perpendicular to this floor over here. And afterwards, I like to do a mirror operation on this side over here, which is at the exact mirror of this floor over here. Now, if you'll note the cutting direction that we have right now, if I were to run my simulation, you'll see that it's working, climb milling along that wall. Now, when I do the mirror operation, I like to keep it with the same cutting direction. The new mirror option that we have now allows us to do a mirror onto this floor while keeping the same cutting direction as well. Let's see how this works. If I have to go to that particular operation, right click on it, we have an option underneath transform called mirror. By choosing this, it allows us to do a mirror around a specified Mac position or a, a mirror along a specific plane. We can also add a new operation at the current position or a new operation at the end of the tree. In this particular case, this operation is at the end of the tree, so it'll be at the end in any case. But let's take a look exactly how this works here now. Now, leaving it mirror about Mac 1 position 3, which is the Mac position that I worked on, won't be good because that will only put it at the wrong location over here. So we can do the option instead of Mac 1 position 1. In that particular case, it's going to go around that first particular position. Now we can also choose whether we want it around XY, YZ, or ZX. In this particular case, when I click on YZ, you'll see that it's going to the exact position where I need it. We can accept that. And as you can see, it actually created a new operation. If I were to open up that operation, it acts just like any other operation and you'll note that it created a new Mac position that's an exact mirror of that particular Mac position that we were working on before. We have the option of modify of this particular geometry everything it need in this particular operation. Let's take a look now at the simulation and as you can see it's working over here also in the climb direction. Let's go back into that mirror opera option and we'll do it again, this time going around a plane. Now I'm going to delete this operation and then redo it using it around a specified plane. Again, if I go back here and click on mirror, this time I'm going to use a selected plane. When I go to selected plane, I can go to my button to select the plane, open up my tree, and go through the planes I may have. In this particular case, I like to choose my right plane over here. As you can see, that's exactly in the middle of the part. If I accept that, you'll see it'll automatically do the exact same thing I did before, just by picking a different mirror around a specific specified plane. Click on OK and again we'll have the exact same results that we had before. Working in the climb direction just like it did in the first operation as shown over here. We have the first operation in the climb direction and the second operation in the climb direction as well. Starting over here in the second operation and starting over here in the first operation. For more videos on Solid Care Professor, please go to our website, 
www.salakam.com and look for our professor tab. Take care and have a nice day.